Knowledge is the collection of facts, information and skills. Humans acquire knowledge in many different ways by experience and education. And it can be expressed by communication and actions. This is subject of philosophy to discuss, so we will not dive into the depth of understanding knowledge. Our purpose here is to understand how computers can process knowledge about real-world objects and situations. For the purpose of representing knowledge in computers, we need to represent facts and information using mathematical notations and rules. Using mathematical rules, we can represent knowledge about an object or an event in the form of facts or relationship with its environment. This process is called knowledge representation. Two main knowledge representation techniques that we will discuss here are semantic networks and search trees. In a semantic network, a directed graph is used to represent relationship between objects. A directed graph's edges are directed from one object to another, showing or representing relationship from one object to another. Objects are represented as nodes or vertices in a graph, and arrows represents types of relationship between objects. Relationship among objects can be is a, has a, owns, lives in, works in, instance of, types of, etc. Relationships help us answer different questions about objects in a semantic network. Figure on the left side represents a semantic network about mammals. From this semantic network, we can answer the questions like what is a whale, what is a mammal, where does whale live, or what is, the, what is a fish and where does it live. Semantic network on the right about investment answers the questions like which investment can be high risk, or which invest investment can be low risk. And semantic network at the bottom of the slide about car can answer the questions like what is what is the brand name brand name of car, what is the model of car, who owns the car, etc. With the help of knowledge of skills, we can solve problems as well. Semantic networks simply provide necessary information and knowledge about objects, but there is no way to predict future outcome or provide solution to problem in certain situations. In this regard, search trees are better knowledge representation technique. Search trees list all possible alternatives or scenarios to reach a goal in, in adversarial situations. Search trees are mostly used to represent all the moves a player can make in a game. A move by one player is represented by a node in search tree. Paths down, paths down that node represent options left to next player. Highly complex games like Chase, Go, Checkers, and Nim are implemented in computers using search trees. Figures here represent few possible chess moves in the form of search tree. Let us assume that simple game of Nim has 9 spaces. On these 9 spaces, player 1 can place 1, 2, or 3 axes on the empty spaces. In the same way, player 2 can place letter O in em on empty spaces. Player that occupies last space wins the game. Let's see one instance of game in action. In the first move, player 1 places 3 axes on the first 3 empty spaces. And player 2 puts 1 O on the 4th empty space. This leaves 5 empty spaces. Again player 1's turn, turn comes and she places 1 X on empty space. Then player 2 places 2 o O's on empty spaces, leaving only 2 empty spaces. And player 1 places 2 X's on last 2 empty spaces and wins the game. This is just one possible solution from search tree. There can be many alternative paths in a search tree that can represent the player that occupies last space. For search tree example, we assume that game of name has 5 spaces. And we represent all the moves of player 1 and player 2 in a search tree. Player that goes first has the choice to place 1x, 2x or 3x's on the empty spaces. If the first player places or puts 1x, second player has the choice to place 1, 2 or 3 o's. If the first player has put 2x's in the first move, player 2 again has, has a choice to place 1, 2 or 3 o's. O's. But if a player has but if a first player has placed three X's in the first on the first three spaces, then the second player second player has only two choices either either to place one O or two O's. 
in this way, next moves are decided in a search tree.